Park day. So tonight's dinner is going to be super easy and super fast. Um, I call it the turkey barbecue meatloaf. Um, I use some barbecue sauce in there and some other ingredients and I usually don't measure it out so um, I'll have to measure it out as I'm doing it today and put it in my descriptions on what I use and you guys can always change it up how you want it. And then I, for the sides I usually just get like a box of um, rice or um, some just basic pasta just kind of quick and easy just so you have something to munch on and maybe some side salad um, okay let me show you all the ingredients and let's get started okay so here's the ingredients you're gonna need for your turkey barbecue meatloaf um, as I stated in the beginning of the video I just kind of use um, just good old-fashioned boxed sides um, I don't have any time tonight to make anything from scratch so we are using the Bitty Crocker cheddar and bacon and potatoes, which are pretty yummy. You're going to need some ground turkey, an egg. I use um, the four, I use the four, what are, it's like a Mexican mix, cheese Mexican mix. Um, some pepper, some, some thyme, basil, parsley, oregano, garlic. I would usually use fresh garlic, but today I don't have any. I ran out the other day and I haven't gone to the store. So I just use powdered garlic, salt, ketchup. I'm going to stick in some spicy brown mustard um, this time just to see what it turns out to be. Um, and some good old barbecue sauce. You can use whatever type you like. Um, onions, which my husband hates, so I'm going to saute them to not make them so um, oniony. <laughs> and then some Italian style breadcrumbs. Okay, let's get started on our yummy turkey barbecue meal. Okay, so we're gonna start with our turkey barbecue meatloaf here. I stuck in my turkey, which I think is about a pound, a pound and a half, whatever comes in the package. And I'm gonna mix everything together. You can use your fingers but I sometimes get interrupted by my kids, so by the time I wash my hands and get to my kids, um, there could be some serious <laughs> issues happening. So, um, we got that. Let's put in some salt in our meat here. Um, I would say maybe half a teaspoon, quarter of a teaspoon, maybe it just, I don't know, um, Gosh, maybe a quarter of a teaspoon salt. I don't really like too much salt, neither does my husband. Um, you can always change up this recipe any way you want to. Um, let's see, pepper. Probably use a quarter. What is this? This is a one third teaspoon pepper. Um, that looks about good. One third teaspoon pepper. Now, um, for, you know what? Let's use our thyme. Our thyme. Now, I made these cute little, um, I found these on Pinterest. From my baby's food, I just kind of put chalkboard paint. I would recommend spray paint, not paint. Um, and I just made a little heart in the middle and then I painted the tops too and then with chalk I just kind of put what it is and frankly I think it's better than these things because I can't really get any of my spoons in the top and then when I open it it all falls out so um, I recommend making some of these if you guys want a tutorial on it I can always um, record one for you so let's get back to cooking so I'm thinking Maybe about one teaspoon of this good old thyme. And I'm thinking the same thing with my basil. So, about one teaspoon of basil. 
one teaspoon of parsley, one teaspoon of oregano. What I mean, this stuff doesn't even want to come out. Okay, and whoop, one teaspoon of garlic. Okay, so I think that's good for that. Let's mix all those things up in there. Oh, and while we're mixing, let's turn on our oven for 350 degrees. Okay. I'm gonna mix that up real good so everything kind of gets blended. Okay, now I'm gonna stick my egg in there. Come on, egg. Okay, let's mix that in there. You know, while this is kind of doing this, I gotta saute my onions, which you don't have to do. You don't have to saute your onions. I just do it because my husband hate onions and I like onions. Um, so I just kind of saute them to cut them, uh, cut them down a little bit so they're not so, I guess, oniony. So I put some uh, extra virgin olive oil in a pan and I saute them. Okay, well I'm waiting for the oil to heat up to saute my onions. Let's see here. Um, thinking maybe a half a cup of breadcrumbs should do it. So half a cup of breadcrumbs. Um, Let's try one third cup. Okay, so one third cup mustard. Oh, excuse me. I'm going to end up using this whole bottle. So it's not all the way to the top, it's almost to the top of a one third cup. So I say that is good enough. Unless you want your meatloaf to be a little bit more spicy, you can always add more. Okay. And for my barbecue sauce, I'm thinking half a cup should be good as well. Yeah. Okay, and then for the ketchup, I don't really need too much ketchup in there, so... Let's do quarter of a cup of ketchup. Oh, excuse me again, jeez. She can't do it, honey, she's too little. Yeah. Now you're also gonna use, well I use, you might want to use, some ketchup and some barbecue sauce at the end to put on top of your meatloaf. I do that and I also sprinkle the top with cheese. So we'll get there. Okay. Now for cheese, I like to add cheese into my turkey loaf. If you ever seen any of my videos, I like cheese. Cheese is yummy. So I'm thinking, I don't know, let's see. 
maybe one cup here. Hmm. So let's try a half a cup. Do about half a cup of cheese just to play on the safe side and we need to make it a little bit more sticky so let's put a little bit more breadcrumbs in there another third of a cup. Yeah, there we go. You know what, I think we're going to use about a, a one and a half cups of breadcrumbs when we're done here. So, let's see. Bread okay, so we're going to mix all this. So we ended up using about one cup of breadcrumbs to hold all this together. Oh, stuff is flying. Okay, I got to stop mixing and getting my kid because I hear her being super sad out there. I almost forgot my onions. So, I almost burnt my onions. So let's put our onions in there. Okay, so we got our onions in there, sauteed or not, whichever way you want it. See how long my child decides to stay happy. Up oh, there's our oven, ready to be put our meatloaf in. Okay, so I get a, um, what is this, a Pyrex, uh, 8 by 8 by 2 Pyrex glass dish, and I just kind of plop it in there, there's no rhyme or reason, kind of scoop it in. And then, and then with your fork or your spoon, whatever you're using, you kind of just make it the shape you want to make it. So your hands haven't really gotten dirty. Okay, so once you got it the shape you want it, um, this is what I do. I or I take some ketchup. I take ketchup and I kind of just do this over top, squirt little. I don't know why I just do these things, and then I take my barbecue sauce. And I kind of do the same thing. I drizzle it over the top. I guess if it would come out, I'd drizzle it over the top, huh? All right. <laughs> if that happens, I just kind of do that. You don't want a big old fat barbecue blob just on one piece, so. There we go. It's not going to be pretty, but it's going to be yummy. Okay. Then I take some more cheese. And I just sprinkle it on top. You can use as much or as little as you want. And then I put this in the oven 
at 350 for about 30 to 35 minutes and then I check it I'll check it and I, um, I'll see if it's done and then we'll see if we need to put it in for um, a longer period of time. So while this is cooking, I'm going to make my boxed potatoes and some salad and we'll be back when this is all done. Okay. Okay, so I took the meatloaf out after 30 minutes and I poked it with a toothpick and it seemed to be looking like it was all cooked through and as you can see it looks pretty delicious all cheesy and um, yummy looking and it smells really good and then my little side dish there of my uh, bacon and cheddar potatoes I think I made and my yummy salad and you have one complete meal and it was under an hour to make so I hope you guys enjoy it and I'll see you guys next time thanks Okay, my three-year-old is the pickiest eater ever. And the meatloaf we made tonight with the potatoes and the salad, this is what's left on the plate. She ate almost everything, and she never does. So I hope you and your kids and your family enjoy it. You guys have a great night.